So with this SKR-7, it's a USSR frigate, rank five, comes with rockets, torpedoes, two turrets with HE rounds consisting of 400 grams of explosive mass. Now from the move he's making, it looks like he may just be going straight for B. Taking some shots over in the direction of C and hopes to hit any ships on their way over there. Looks like the enemy is taking C. If they can hold these two caps, mean that they're the closest ones together, he can go back and forth between these two much quicker than trying to go all the way over to A and then back to B. A is just too far out there. Enemies have started to get spotted on C, also attacking B and moving toward A. Let's just see what we're up against here. Okay. Incoming torpedoes. Okay, enemy has C and is taking B. Oh, this torpedo looked like it's gonna be a close one. Now there are some enemies marked on the map right in front of him and that opening is where the B cap is and there is a lot of ships around there. Also seeing how many enemy ships are marked heading toward A may be a good indicator that they're spread out, kind of like how his team is. And with ease, takes out his first target and puts him at 300 points. While continuing to make an aggressive push, his team is really struggling to take B and C and the enemy is continually pushing past towards them, killing more of his teammates. And coming around this corner, broadside to three targets. Four! Two kills, 363 points. Just unload on those targets close together. These ships have no chance. Putting him at four ships sunk. He hasn't paid attention very much to his left side. Of course, there is a lot of action also going on to his right, and he doesn't have very many friends up with him to help him if he does find himself in trouble. There is an enemy marked on the map right in front of him behind this island. Whether he notices, I'm not sure. Could be the one right on the sea cap. He is paying attention over in that way. And has got to be right here on the side. There he is, not even looking his way. And obliterates him, putting him at six kills, 1,281 points. The beautiful thing about this position, he's right in front of a very large rock island. Enemies can't see him frontally. He's got good cover from that direction. He's been able to come around this bend, unload on so many open targets, but that does leave him exposed on the left side. His ships can still come around and surprise him and then take shots on him. No hits from Artie. Okay, does look like he took some damage on the rear. I'm not sure what this guy's plan is. But it does now look like he's taking C and his team has taken A while the enemy still owns B. While continuing to push forward, he now has open range to the enemy spawn while all the vessels are trying to push over behind those islands, maybe to protect themselves, get around, get to a different position. Ooh, and some returning fire, but luckily no hits. Backing up, maybe to get some eyes on what's going on over at B. Looks like there is an enemy vessel pushing up. Not sure if he doesn't notice him. Okay, he does. There he goes. He should have no problem taking him out. He doesn't seem to notice he's there. No returning fire. I am just utterly baffled at how many ships he's been able to destroy, just annihilating the entire enemy team with very little return fire. Putting him now at 11 kills, one cap, 2,995 points. 
our star is just making this look very easy. Looking around the islands on the right, seeing if he sees anyone crossing, paying attention to his front. Does see a ship. Nice shot, 12 kills. And with him backing up here, this could give him advantage, being he's the one doing the peeking. Most of these enemies just don't seem to be paying attention. Okay, finally looks like there's somebody that acknowledges him, taking some shots right back. Even though he didn't stand a chance. The teams are looking like they're about even on tickets. Even though the enemy is now bleeding more, being they own none of the capture points, of course that can turn around quickly. There is a torpedo coming in on his right. His main play just seems to be right behind this rock. He just doesn't seem to have a need to leave it at all. He's just doing so well right here. And there is a lot of enemy vessels coming his way, pushing right up on the sea cap. Looks like he's seeing the first one. Not destroyed yet, taking some return fire, but putting up a good fight. Wow, 14 kills, one cap, 4,023 points. And this is what this game is all about, is just moving behind the rock, taking shots on anyone trying to push up on the right, moving forward, taking shots on any ships coming up, and looks like there are more taking a push. Oh, two more. He does notice them. And with these, just knocks him out while dodging a couple torpedoes. It does look like he has more team support. They have lost A, where a good concentrated focus from the enemy is coming right towards C and B. Mumujetka seems to have found the sweet spot on the map. And with him having some friends around him, that does cause a distraction for the enemy so he can pop around the corner and get shots off them. Okay, this guy has to know he's here, and he does. He has taken some return fire. Ooh, and gets hit. Maybe a worthy opponent. Someone willing to take him on. Ooh, and still taking more damage, but not nearly as much as he is. Okay, it does look like the enemy has taken A back and still make an aggressive push for B and C along with his team, both trying to hold this area as much as they can. The most action he's seen all game with 17 kills, one cap, 4,968 points. There are some enemy ships right in front of him. He does see them. And they didn't stand a chance. Continuing just to finish off the enemy team, trying to push over on this side. Oh, big boy this time. Someone's come to play. Get some. Unleash the fury. 20 kills. This guy is just killing this match. And now going back behind the rock. Still in good shape. The enemy still holding A, but it is quite a battle for BNC. As his team looks like they're the ones to take him soon. And the sound of any coming plane is not good and gets taken out. Our hero dies from a plane. Looks like from the kill feed, it was a P-47D that got him. But that one death does not stop him. He goes back in the fight to see this through till the end. 20 kills, one cap, 5,636. Well, 38 keeps climbing now, points. 
And this game looks like it's turning around in the enemy's favor where they have A and are about to take B, leaving his team with only C. Just non-stop firing over this island, doing all he can, getting some good hits, but no kill. He looks like he may have an idea where targets are based on his map. There are some right in this direction over that island. Fantastic. His side does look like they're in the lead. The enemy's got about 12 players left or so and his team 14. So there's a good chance they can still pull a victory here. They are ahead on tickets, even though the enemy does have two capture points. Any luck with that plane shot? No, not quite, but would have been cool. Going right back to his original spot, back behind this famous rock. There are some targets marked over toward this smoke area right in front of him. Gets a hit. He knows where he is. Excellent destruction. 21 kills. How many more enemies could he possibly take out this round? <laughs> Just coming around these corners, seeing more ships. Non-stop firing. Now, oh, I think he did take a shot there. But still doing well. And 5,966 points. And if his team can't take B back, this very well may be a loss. They are bleeding tickets right now and need more of these capture points. Especially with a game where you have 21 kills... That is a heartbreak if that's how it ends. Getting to the C point with a torpedo warning. Not sure exactly where it's coming from. Looks like he's okay. Team is losing B. Capping C. Coming down to a pretty close game. Been a very good one for our star. Two caps, 21 kills, two assists, one death, and 6,136 points. Will it be enough to turn things around? That plane still sounds like it's coming. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. And he's gone. Well, all in all, a really good fight and very well done. 6,211 points. Is he going to get another kill? There's 22. I give this a 9 out of 10. Yeah, there was not a lot of moving back and forth on a map, but he did an excellent job holding this side of the map, which was a key position between B and C and got so many kills. Thank you for the submission. You all stay cool and keep sailing.